Mr. Speaker, Singapore Police Force is empowered under the Criminal Procedure Code to obtain any data, and that includes the trace together data, for criminal investigations. The government is the custodian of the TT data submitted by the individuals, and stringent measures are put in place to safeguard this personal data. Examples of these measures include only allowing authorized officers to access the data, using such data only for authorized purposes, and storing the data on a secure data platform. Under the Public Sector Governance Act, public officers who recklessly or knowingly disclose the data without authorization or misuse the data may be liable of a fine up to $5,000 or imprisonment of up to two years or both. Mr. Chris Souza. Sir, I thank the MOS for his uh, response. Uh, in an investigation, there are uh, suspects and there are witnesses. So in the event that uh, the trace together information is used of a witness, um, would there be um, the possibility of deletion of this information uh, by virtue of its uh, private nature um, if the investigation doesn't yield anything or the investigation comes to a close? So I'm wanting to draw a distinction between the suspect and a witness. Thank you. Yes, the data will only be taken from the individual. And in the event that uh, criminal ca in a criminal case where there is a suspect and a witness, uh, for the witnesses, uh, we will extract the data from the witnesses. However, for individual, they are suspect or under investigation. Uh, the data will not be extracted from this for purpose of the security. Mr. Jarugam. So we now all know that, um, that effective contact tracing is key to continuing the spread of COVID-19 and the more people use trace together, the better. We should always looking, be looking for ways to improve the to remove the impediments to voluntary adoption of the Trace Together app. So if people suspect that their Trace Together data is being used for anything other than contact tracing, won't this lead to a lower than, uh, than expected adoption rate? And, um, and I'm sure the MOS is aware that there are ways in which users can prevent the app from being used, uh, for example, exchanging proximity date information, even if they have it installed. So my question is, um, now that the government has said that they might actually use the trace together data for police investigations, does this not violate the trace together privacy statement, which says that any data shared with MOH will only be used solely for contact tracing per of persons possibly exposed to COVID-19? Thank you for the questions. Trace together is conceived and implemented for the purpose of contact tracing and for fighting the COVID-19 pandemic. We do not preclude the use of trace together data in circumstances where citizen safety and security is or has been affected, and this applies to all other data as well. And authorized police officers may invoke then the criminal procedure code I mentioned earlier, powers to obtain this data for purpose of criminal investigation and for the purpose of the safety and security of our citizens. But otherwise, trace together data is indeed to be used only for contact tracing and for purpose of fighting COVID situation. <laughs> 